Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemical Engineering and Assessment Channel. As you know that from past few videos, we are covering the topic of property package. Initially, we have studied how and why property packages are important and how these are utilized in the simulations. Then we have studied about the different recommendations, Eric Carlson recommendation, Bob Cedar recommendation, and the C entry. And in the previous video, we have used Aspen Plus method assistant to find out which of the property package is suitable but as I have told you in the previous video that there are two methods of finding the property package or the suitable property package. Number one is the process type and number two is the component type. We have already studied the component type and our focus today will be on the process type. So before starting this video, I would request all of my valuable viewers to please subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel. Now we will quickly go to the Aspen Plus and we will see by process type how we can select the suitable property package. Now coming to the simulation interface and going to this method assistant and just as a recall that the purpose of method assistant is to obtain advice on the most appropriate methods to be used in modeling chemical of interest. So we will click on it, a new window will open and last time we have selected the component type, today we will select the process type. So click on specify process type. Now there are different processes which are available to us starting from chemical, electrolytic, environmental, gas processing, mineral and metallurgical, oil and gas, petrochemical, polymer, power, refining and pharmaceuticals. So these are the commercial processes that are available worldwide and now once we want to simulate such a process then which of the property package to be used we will study it today. So let's start from the chemical process. And in general, for a chemical process, we can use an activity coefficient based property package such as NRTL, Wilson, Uniquet, and their variances. So for preliminary designs, one of the unifact based property method can be used. At high pressures, we can use equation of state method with advanced mixing rules such as Wong Sandler, MHV1, and so on. If you remember our figure number two, of Eric Carlson's recommendation, it is the same as represented over here. So the figure 2 actually represents the chemical process. Now in electrolytic system, we have already studied that for electrolytic system, we have to use electrolyte NRTL with RK equation of state extension. Similarly, different types of NRTL can be used in the same way Pitzer model can also be used. And if you want to study all of these, you can click on this one by one and you can study all the characteristics. For environmental process, in general, an activity coefficient based property package is appropriate such as NRTL, Wilson, Uniquake and their variances. If you see, this is the same line which we have studied in the chemical method. So for environmental and for chemical, we can use the same process. But in that case, there were some pressure variations, but here, it is not mentioned over here. And then there are different pro processes, acid gas stripping, acids, hydrocarbon stripping. So you can select one by one that for system of interest, you can specifically choose the property package. Then going to the gas processing, in general, an equation of state based property method is appropriate, such as Pang Robinson, SRK, or so on. Or in the HISIS version, we can use HIS PR or HIS SRK. For natural gas custody transfer calculations, we can use GER 2008 model. And if you want to study different types like acid gas absorption, gas dehydrations, then you can use certain property package or if you want to study all these property packages, you can go one by one and you can study it. Going back and going to mineral and metallurgical, for pyrometallurgy, use the solids or fact property method. The fact method requires an external chem server data file and chem app license and is only usable in S plus. For hydrometallurgy, use electrolyte NRTL or ENRTL RK property method. Similarly, for oil and gas, it's a wide range. So, use an equation of state property method such as Peng Robinson, Reddish Kwong, and up to so on. There are different types available over here. But most likely, the, for oil and gas applications, you have to use the equation of state method. While for chemical, for environmental, for electrolytic system, you have to use the activity coefficient model. Then going to petrochemical, a wide range of property methods can be used depending on the process involved. Both equation of state and activity coefficient models can be applied over here. 
Now, if your system is of interest is, for example, aromatics, then you have to use activity coefficient method. If your system of interest is ethers production, you have to again use activity coefficient method. If it is ethylbenzene or styrene, then you have to use the equation of state US method. So again, it depends on the requirement and the type which you are using. Then going to polymer, use one of the polymer property methods such as PCS, dash sap, poly NRTL, poly FH, poly SN, and up to so on. These are the different property package. Remember that this is just an introductory lecture. Once we will go in detail of all these methods, you will understand how each method can be utilized. Then going to power, obviously in power use PR-BM or RKS-BM with combustion data. Bank for steam cycle applications use one of the steam table methods such as steam TA, steam NBS or IAPWS-95 and I told you in the previous lecture that this is the recent or the current standard for properties of water and steam and is recommended. If you go to the PR-BSM that is Pang Robinson cubic equation of state with Boston Mathias alpha function for all pro thermodynamic properties. So again, these are different property packages available in SPAN and we will study it in detail in our upcoming lectures. For refining, we will use BK10, Chow Seater and Grayson Street method. Now you can see that special models which we have defined are coming in the refinery applications. If you see before these, we have studied chemical, electrolytical and different applications, but there were no special models. So now special models will be applied in refinery applications and cubic equation of states such as Pang Robinson or SRK can also be used over here. And last, the pharmaceuticals. So in pharmaceuticals, we mostly use the activity coefficient methods such as NRTL, Unifact, nrtl sec and up to so on. So these are the different processes which are available in the literature, in the working, in the real scenario and again the characteristics or the classifications are also available in S1 class and if you know the certain process type, you can go to that tab and accordingly you can select which of the property package should be used for your system. So that is the overall summary or overall use or overall selection of how to select a suitable property package for a particular application. In the next coming lectures, we will study each property package in detail, starting from different equation of states, activity coefficients, special models, and we will study each property package in deep detail in our upcoming lectures. So I hope you have understood all the aspects of this lecture. If you have any queries, feedback, suggestion, please provide it in the comment box and I would be happy to answer. So that's it for today's lecture. Thank you so much. Please do watch, like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Also click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel. Till then, it's goodbye. Stay tuned for more exciting videos on this channel.